Okay, children, have you read the lesson thoroughly? Right. Let me ask a few questions. How far you have understood the lesson? So I want to test your comprehension. Right. So here is a first question for you. How did the animals and birds live in the forest, which were very proud of their dances? Next question. How did the elephants enjoy? And fourth question. What did the ants do? Next. What did the animals and birds held musical evenings? Where did they conducted the musical evenings? Which animals exhibited gymnastics? Who were the guest of honor to their musical evenings? What kind of animal is a jackal? How did the jackal poison the minds of animals and birds? How did the sadhu help the animals and make them unity? What did the sadhu teach them? If you were in the place of sadhu, what would you do? Write answers for these questions. So read the text thoroughly so that you can find the answer for these questions. So if you are in the place of sadhu, what would you do? Sadhu helped the animals in a different way. He did not directly kill the jackal. But if you are in the place of jackal, what would you do? How did you help the animals? How did you make them united? How did you teach a lesson to the jackal, or how did you kill the jackal? So. right answer for these questions thank you children i hope you understood the lesson very well okay bye see you we'll discuss the poem in the next class thank you thank you very much good morning children welcome to online classes do nalgonda today we are going to learn a very interesting and beautiful poem i want peace the first unit be reading i want peace a very wonderful poem really you enjoy a lot see in this poem the earth it's worrying about our future our life the human beings like us we are destroying the earth so it's worrying about its future about our future carelessly we are destroying the earth so we are cutting all the trees in the forest we are polluting the atmosphere we are polluting the water air and earth that's why the mother earth here poet describes about the feeling of sadness of the earth so here children do you want to learn about the poem i want peace okay then open your textbook page number 15 i want peace see here i am big and round I wonder if there will be peace. I hear the sound of people who are being killed. I see the people crying for life. I want to help the poor people. Who is I in the poem? I means the earth, the mother earth. See, I am big and round. The earth is saying, I am big and round. You know that. in social sciences you have studied about what is the shape of the earth the shape of the earth is very big and round so uh, it's very big then i am big and round the earth is saying that i wonder if there will be peace but what is the use there is no peace on the earth wherever you go there will be not there will not be any peace among the people the always disputes quarrels among the people everywhere 
one man, one person is killing the other people. See, if you go to the border, so our military or our army or soldiers are killed by other peoples. So in any way, every day, there is no peace on the earth. So there is a struggles, there are fightings, there are bomb blasts. There is no peace on the earth. I hear the sound of people who are being killed every day, for every second. Many people were being killed by someone else. There are many reasons. But, so the people are being killed. That's why the mother is seeing, I am big and round, but uh, I am worried. I hear the sound of the people are being killed. I see the people crying for his life. The people are crying. I want to help the poor people, especially the poor people. They are suffering a lot for their problems, for their needs. So, they need food. So, the poor people, they are suffering for food and shelter and many other needs. That's why the Mother Earth is saying, I want to help the poor people. Okay? Next stanza. I am big and round. I feel the weight of sorrow on me. So here, the sorrow feels sad. The mother earth is feeling very sad. I feel the sorrow, weight of sorrow on me. I touch the feeling of the people. I worry about the future of the people on me. I cry for help from God. Oh God, please help the poor people. They are suffering a lot. They have many problems. See, uh, I feel the weight of sorrow. So every day, every time, the many people are suffering for their problems. So our sufferings, our burdens, so the earth can understand and she is saying that, so I can wait the sorrow on me. I touch the feeling of the people, the mother earth. It can feel our problems. You think that nobody can understand our problems? No. The Mother Earth, it can see, it can understand the problems of ours. See, in olden days, the people were worshipped the Earth, Bhumata, Bhudevi. So, the Goddess Earth, uh, whenever anything falls on the ground, they, they left it. They did not take anything uh, from falling from the ground. So they worship the goddess earth. So now the earth is feeling that. Uh, so I touch the feeling of the people. I worry about the future of people and me. So the mother earth is worrying about our future. What will happen to my people in future? So she is worrying a lot. See here, we are going polluting the earth. We are going destroying the forest. We are going using the our resources, our um, unnecessary, we are uh, using the resources. To our, more than our need, we are using the resources. So we are not at all taking care of our envir environment, our earth, our natural resources. See, the water on the earth, only 3% of the water only can useful for drinking. Nowadays we are buying the water for drinking. Water is freely available, but now we are purchasing the water because so we are polluting the water. In future, we may have to buy the air also. We don't know that. So that's why the Mother Earth is worrying about our future. I cry for help from God. Oh God, please help my people. So they don't know. They are not living peacefully. They are destroying. They are fighting. They are killing one another. They are destroying the natural resources. Please God, help for my people. The Mother Earth is praying to God on behalf of us. Next, third stanza coming to, I am big and round. I understand the problems of the people on me. I say, grace for all people. I dream about my paws. I try to handle my sorrow. I hope I won't be destroyed. I am big and round. So here, I understand the problems of people on me. The people 
whoever living on the earth saying that she is saying i can understand <coughs> I can understand the problems on me. So I say grace for all people. Oh God, show grace and uh, your uh, grace and honor to all the people equally. Please, dear God, show grace on all the people equally. I try to handle my sorrow. The earth is try to handle the sorrow. I hope I won't be destroyed. So the earth is very confident. Yes, I won't be destroyed. I won't be spoiled. I won't be vanished. The earth is saying some. I won't be destroyed. But uh, the worry is about the people on the earth. I am big and round. Okay, children. Did you understand the poem? Right here. Let us see the glossary. Wonder, surprise, weight, burden, sorrow, feel sad, grace. honor destroyed spoiled do you want to listen the poem once again okay listen carefully i am big and round i wonder if there will be peace i hear the sound of the people who are being killed i see the people crying for life i want to help the poor people i am big and round i feel the weight of sorrow on me I touch the feeling of the people. I worry about the future of the people on me. I cry for help from God. I am big and round. I understand the problems of the people on me. I say grace for all people. I dream about my past. I try to handle my sorrow. I hope I won't be destroyed. I am big and round. Children Did you understand the poem? Right. Now, let me ask you a few questions. So, read the poem once again and understand. So, I will ask you questions here. What does the uh, earth wish to have and why? What does the earth wish to have? The earth wish to have the peace. So, all the people living peacefully on the earth. I am big and round. What do you think is suggested by repetition of the line? I am big and round. In every stanza, it begins with I am big and round. Why the earth stresses I am big and round? Because the earth is very big. It is says that confidently I can do anything. I can solve all the problems. So. the is the confidence of the earth i am big and round not a small thing i am i am big and round some billions of people are living on the earth so i can do anything third question was the earth happy or sorrowful give reasons for your opinion so does the earth happy or sorrowful yes it's sorrowful the problems of the people so the uh, poor people the worrying about the poor people and destroying about the earth and nature so killing of the people so it's the unhappy of the earth next what does the earth dream about the earth is dream about the peace the people who are living on the earth should live peacefully with the friendly with the brotherhood with the fraternity friendly relations coordinations love and peace so uh, that the earth uh, dreams about what does the earth worry about so the earth is worry about the future of the people what will happen to people on me nowadays so all the countries in the world that are having powerful nuclear weapons atom bombs if all the countries were uh used the bombs or thrown on the uh, on the countries in within a few minutes the world will be destroyed such a kind of powerful uh, nuclear weapons atom bombs are having 
in the world you know that in second world war the and japan in few cities hiroshima and nagasaki the america had uh, thrown the atom bombs on those two people two places but till now a little grass plant also would not grow there some millions of people had died in that uh, nuclear weapons in the atom bombs blastings that's why so the earth is worrying about our future what will happen the humans carelessness humans negligence so the humans uh, occupants uh, occupied nature so that's why children you should have to develop peace among yourself so you have to try to develop the peace among the people and you should save the earth especially you don't destroy the earth so this is about the poem i want peace children did you understand the poem yes i know you have understood okay thank you good morning children okay in the previous class we have learned the very beautiful poem i want peace the first unit be reading now in the first unit c reading we are going to learn the very interesting lesson a grand contest in the forest it's a very interesting lesson so here there is a contest among the trees birds and animals children do you know in your school occasionally they conduct some competitions it's a cultural or sports so but whenever the school management conducted any competitions you feel excited so you you will be having yes i want to win the prize in the same way there is also a contest but not for the children here is a contest for trees animals and birds so they have to exhibit their special talent so here let us read the lesson so how the trees and animals exhibited their talents who have got the prize right open your textbook page number 16 the grand contest in the forest so there is a competition competition in the forest not at home not at school or not at playground or not at any sports ground so here is a special contest it the contest is for trees and animals right okay children open your textbook page number 16 grand contest in the forest the animals birds and trees were excited they began to prepare for the great day when they would give their best to the great one the except little gray squirrel so here the great one is conducting the competitions for birds animals and trees right so the everyone is excited about the great day the competition day right there was excitement in the air there was going to be a grand contest everyone should show something special so whoever show a special one they would get prize they would be declared as winner right and the best one would be praised by the lord of fire wind water and sun the animals and the trees began preparations so the competition declared whoever win the competition they would be praised by the lord fire the lord of wind the lord of water the lord of sun so then the every animal and birds they are saying like this 
I will shine like a sparkling sunshine, said the laburnum. So, a small tree with a group of yellow flowers. The laburnum tree says, Yes, on the great day in the competition, I will shine like a sparkling sunshine. My flowers will look like a golden raindrops. Next, the Gulmohar said, I will dress myself so that I look like the early morning sun, golden red spreading radiance. The Gulmohar tree is saying with the red flowers. So, it is saying that I will dress myself. The Gulmohar tree is saying, I will dress myself total tree. It is covered with uh, the red shiny flowers and uh, my flowers will look like a golden raindrops. So, the Gulmohar tree is saying like that. Next, I will offer the best honey I can find, shouted the bear. What did the bear present? So, the best honey in the competition, the bear will exhibit, bear will exhibit the best honey. Next, the elephant said, I will get the best fruit, so fresh it would still on the branches and lay them at her feet. The elephant is saying, yes, I will bring the very fresh fruit. So, I will cut the branch, so which is hang over to the fruit, the best fruit which is hang over to the branch, I will cut the branch and I will offer the fresh fruit to the great one on the great day at the competitions. Everyone had something beautiful or wonderful to offer the great day. Every animal and tree, they are having something special to show to exhibit their presentations to the great one. They are very confident, yes, I will be win in the competitions. Like uh, uh, bear, elephant, the trees. But uh, everyone except uh, a little grey squirrel who talked sadly to himself. But one little grey squirrel, it was very sad. So, what does a little grey squirrel with a block, squares, stripes, how to offer? I am a little squirrel. What can I offer? The big animals, they are offering big things. But I am a small animal. What can I offer? Then the Palash said, The forest will be ablaze with my beauty. Though late, I will save some flowers. The Palash tree is saying that. So a tree with red flowers. So it is saying that the forest will be ablaze, the forest will be bright. The ablaze means bright. The forest will be bright with my red flowers. So and uh, uh, I will save some flowers. And although early, I will make some flowers bloom. So it's so a blooming the flowers. Snapped the gulmohar. The beautiful trees and the creatures had started competing and fighting. Yes, I will get the prize. I will get the prize. I will show the different one. I will show something special. The trees and animals, they are fighting each other. They are fighting among themselves. Yes, I will get the prize. I will show different. I will show something special. But the beautiful trees and the creatures had started competing and fighting. My mangoes are ready, announced the mango tree. Yes, I will exhibit, I will present a very delicious fruits to the great one. So, very tasty fruits on the earth. I will present so that I can get the prize. The mango tree is saying, the peacock said, emeralds and turquoise are my feathers. Whenever I open my feathers, so the great one will feel very excited, very happy, very wonderful. Whenever I open my feathers, whenever I dance, he looks and that shows very beautiful. So the peacock said, emeralds and turquoises on the feathers, that was very beautiful. The lark thrilled, I will sing a song, beautiful my moving. 
the lark bird is saying yes i will sing a song by moving melodiously i will sing a song so that i can get the prize the dove who is saying great one would love her soft notes see the dove i am very soft i am very smooth the great one would like my softness so that i can get the prize gifts and beauty abound though the spiral is in despair so here the spiral is in despair hopelessness all the birds and animals are very confident they would win the prize but the little gray, gray squirrel it is in despair it is in hopelessness and he thought and thought but uh, i will do what can i do best no I, though i am a little animal but i can do what can i do best so he thought and thought then he found a hollow branches a branch a dried branch wood and it make the hole in the branch and filled that branch with seeds and different type of tre- trees he could find the squirrel collected different types of seeds and filled the hollow branch with the seeds the next day everyone was ready the competition is going to be conducted the trees birds animals everyone is ready they are waiting for the competition the guest the great one came the who, who was going to conduct the competition the great one came the air became soft and balmy the air became soft and balmy pleasant balmy means pleasant the air the streams tinkled as they tumbled over the little rocks the streams water from flowing streams so they are tinkling the sunshine great one here is my gift so each one the all the trees animals and birds one by one they are offering their gifts their specialties then after everyone had given their gifts the great one looked at the little gray squirrel and asked little one why are you so quiet don't you prepare anything but i have nothing grand to offer you my dear great one i have nothing grand to offer you i don't blow or sing but what i have give you with my heart and he scampered away anyhow i am also prepared a little gift i will bring for you it's a scampered scampered means run with quick and little steps the little gray squirrel scampered and he returned dragging the dry branches the great one looked grave so looked seriously the great one i have nothing grand to offer you uh it see uh but what i have give with my heart and scampered away he returned dragging his dry branches the great one looked grave i see beauty in form and sound but all waited holding their breath everyone have presented their gifts so every animal and birds they are exciting so the prize goes to whom who will get the prize they are very excited but the prize goes to gray squirrel for i can use the seeds and sow them uh, new life will burst forth trees will bear more fruits it is gift not only for today but also for our tomorrows see here the little gray squirrel collected the seeds and stored in the dry branch and it is saying that i have collected these seeds and uh, uh, i will save for future generations i will plant the seeds i may not eat the fruits now but my future generations for tomorrow's people they would eat the fruits so that is the a great thinkingness of squirrel so the creatures then marvel saying how foolish we are to think only of the present uh, three cheers for the little squirrel see we are discussing we are thinking about present life the little one the little gray squirrel 
it thought about future generations so the children what did you understand from the story see you don't think your present life you have to think for future generations regarding our natural resources regarding our anything so you have to think for our future generation people we have to save our environment our natural resources to future generations the earth is only not for us the earth belongs to everyone on the earth so we have to save the natural resources we don't uh, destroy the natural resources we have to save them for future generations you have to plant so that you can make the environment very beautiful what did the squirrel done here it had a collected a seeds and saved for the future generations so from this lesson the children you have to think for the future generations what you can do you have to do so you have to save the environment you have to save the trees you have to grow more and more plants so that you can make the earth very beautiful we don't destroy the natural resources so that is the moral from the lesson so i think you have understood the grand contest in the forest okay children thank you thank you very much